Today I want to share a funny story with you guys. Kind of made me laugh thinking about, uh, you know, what brings me here, how I got into arm wrestling, how I got into grip strength and all that stuff. And uh, if you ever met my father, it would be an easy question to answer. You'd know right away. Very similar uh, attributes, abnormally large hands. He had uh, abnormal levels of strength and uh, upper body development with doing nothing. And he was also uh, quite the character. I mean, if you ever meet him and ever had a conversation with him, he's, they broke the mold with him. So uh, growing up, there was all kinds of funny stories. And my father was a blue collar guy before they had power tools and everything they did, all his buddies were the same. Everything they did was hand done and hard working and pulling long hours. And all these guys were rough and tumble and strong in their own right. And they used to get together at this pub after work, before work, it was like cheers. But it was like a rough and tumble type cheers. It was like a, a fraternity. They had fun competing. They would arm wrestle, they would uh, play pool, hustle girls and compete in things of strength. And so there was always this like macho going on between them. And my father really prided himself on his hand and wrist strength to be able to get his hands on something and, you know, do feats of strength. Oh, one day they're down the pub and they're all drinking and there was a Jack Daniels bottle that the sugar must have uh, frozen the cap on. So my father, they're all passing around the bar trying to twist it off and loosen it. My father's sitting there having his drink, looking at him. He goes, God damn you pussies. You guys call yourselves men. Give me that fucking thing. So they pass it over to him. Oh, yeah, Bobby. So he grabs it. And in essence of torquing it and torquing it, he didn't get the cap off, but he snapped the neck off a of Jack Daniels bottle, which when you really think about that and how stout those bottles are, is an insane feat of strength. So... Ta-da-da, -da, you know, a few more drinks, I'm amazing. And my father's very good friend, Paul, who's another big, strong guy, says to my father, he goes, you know, Rob, Bobby, you, you think your hands are so strong, but I tell you what you can't do, you can't choke a chicken or a rooster or whatever it was that they were talking about. My father's like, yeah, I know, can't choke a chicken. He's like, no, I'm being serious. He goes, no matter how strong your hands are, you cannot choke a chicken, like choke it, not cut its head off or ring it, choke it. He's like, Paul, 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 if I can get my hands around its neck, I don't care what it is, I'm going to kill it. He's like, Bobby, I'm telling you, you can't do it. So time goes by, having some drinks, poking at each other. And my father also has the ability to get triggered when he gets tired of hearing enough bullshit. And he was like, Paul. Don't fucking tell me I can't choke a chicken. So next thing you know, they're both lit up, jumping in Paul's Cadillac, driving two towns over to a rural community to someone's farm, right? <laughs> Someone they don't even know's farm. So they get across town, they get to this guy's farm, and they're circling his property. Hammered, right? Looking around, and they dial in on when they see this big-ass turkey, <clears throat> big-ass turkey in a cage. They're like, that's the one. That's the one to put this to the test. Huge tom turkey. So the farmer sees these guys on his property, comes out, and he's like, you know, can I help you boys? And they're sitting there like, you know, hungry dogs looking in this cage. They're like, we want to we wanna buy that one. And he's like, well, he's not for sale. He's my tom turkey. He's the breeder. He goes, well, how much if I want to buy it? And the guy's like, what, what would you possibly want this thing for? My father goes, because I want to fucking choke it. <laughs> so uh, it wasn't long before cops were called. The police intervened before any chickens were choked. And uh, they were basically never allowed anywhere near within a radius of that property again. So here we are, uh, probably like decades later. And my poor father and Paul never got to settle that dispute. And... Uh, yeah, legendary hand strength. Don't don't choke the chicken though. And I don't want any of you that have choked chickens to send me videos of it.
chicken choking of any kind. And fortunately, no chickens were hurt in the making of this video.